and I don't know what the f- it is. Where are you? F- All right, everybody. Happy uh, Wednesday. Right? Yeah, Wednesday. It's, it's Wednesday. Uh, well, we maybe record the show on Tuesdays. Maybe it's Thursday. I don't know. Well, it depends know on if you're is. listening or watching. I think. Ah, in another yeah. country too, and yeah. it's yeah. ahead of time. Happy midweek. Uh, happy week. Happy week for everybody. Uh, thanks for tuning in again. Same people we always have on here. Nothing different. <laughs> uh, and yeah, it never no changes. It's like changes. it's Groundhog Day, but a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> but we're back. Another week down. Another race down. And uh, yeah, Kim, I knew you were. Were you in Richmond? I was. I had yeah. to do all of the races in Richmond. Uh-huh. Four. A lot, of, a lot of races. It was a lot of races. They were good. They were good races. And we had good weather, thankfully, because headed into the weekend, it did not look promising. But... Got it all in, and actually Sunday it kind of started to feel like fall a little bit. It's the, this morning I walked outside about seven thirty in the morning, and it was chilly. Mm-hmm. It was chilly, especially with what I was wearing. I wasn't wearing a lot. <laughs> it was very cold. <laughs> so just taunting all the lady fans out there. Well, there's no one to see me where I live, so <laughs> I did not expect it to be that cold in my short shorts and nothing else. So. Took me. It took me by surprise. So took me by surprise. I must say, when I found out yesterday that I heard it through the grapevine, that was a terrible. I was just making a song singing thing. Anyway, um, <laughs> I, the short shorts though. Have you noticed? Have you noticed that with the short shorts that they are making a comeback? Oh, I see more people in short shorts than I've ever seen. I'm saying I just slept in like. Short basketball shorts. That's uh-huh. what I sleep in. Uh, I'll wear some short shorts every now and then, but nothing like too short. But they got to be above the knee. Right. A little man thigh? Yeah, a little bit of man thigh. Neck. Not even that much. Maybe like two or three inches above the knee. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The Not like, yeah, I've seen <laughs> – I saw these kids one time back in High Point wearing short shorts so short. And they were wearing boxers that their boxers were actually beneath their shorts. And it's like, okay, if you're going to wear short shorts, that's fine. But make sure you have the proper underwear to not yeah. show. Yeah. No. You got to wear the, the compression-y type. Not really compression, but like the boxer briefs. You got to wear the yeah, shorter. Boxer briefs. Yeah. The shorter shorts. Or just go commando free ball it. Yeah. You know, the Although that's if dangerous, the shorts are though. so short, you might need something to. Yeah, you want to make sure. Sh- Keep keep Junior and the Nut yeah. Brothers uh, contained. You don't want to yeah. pull the old man uh, you're sitting yeah. on a piece of gum, you know? Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> the bad thing is when you sit down, then the shorts get even shorter. Yeah. That's when don't you get are. excited to get old and get saggy balls? Aren't you looking forward to that? <laughs> why Why would you look forward to that? Like, what, what point of that I seems... I don't think he's sarcastic. Yeah, yeah. Well, do they, here's a here's a question: Do they do cosmetic surgery on male testicles to lift them in old age? Lift and separate. I wonder if that's a thing. I mean, I'm sure. I, I mean, I'm sure. You I've, can, I've never heard of it, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to Google that. I really don't want to know how that will affect my like algorithm. Um, uh, yeah. the, the one thing I was like speaking of old people and and balls and and short shorts. <laughs> apparently, though. Like the legs are the last thing to go for guys, so like you should wear short shorts the older you get because mm-hmm. your gut's gonna get bigger. You know you're uh-huh. gonna start looking all all old up here, but your legs are still gonna be on point the older you get. So show them bad boys off. I will say my dad still has very nice calves and legs Sky- for a guy that's seventy. Skies yeah. out, thighs out. My dad has the biggest calves of every single my yeah. life. My father has the biggest calves I've ever seen in my life, and I inherited them. <laughs> I thought you were going to like pick up your leg and just like look look at this calf right here. I don't <laughs> calf. Not do that, but use yeah. your imagination. Well, the the producer on the show today, uh, Matt Strickert, he uh, has some large calves too. We uh, make fun of him all the time because he looks like he walks on his tiptoes, and we're like he's doing his calf exercises. Do you listen to Woody and Wilcox? Because uh, Wilcox on that show has very large calves. 
You know, I have a theory about that. So your dad was a pilot for a long time, right? Yeah. 40 plus so, years. Yeah. So, you know, you're using your legs and calves muscles to work the, uh, the pedals in the plane. Ah. You know, so I see that. Uh, I feel like race car drivers have really big calves because you're constantly moving your ankles. That's mm-hmm. like your calves. And I feel like sprint car drivers have the biggest ones because the way the pedals are set up, they're pushing down a lot. You're not really going forward. So I feel like that doing that for decades, it, it does something for you. I feel I, like I buy it. So do you do, do you do like calf raises? Is that like part of your workout routine? Just doing some, uh, like, no, it just kind of comes naturally. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> But I, I have found yeah. I have to stretch my calves a lot more the older I get before I do any type oh. of physical activity. Oh, if I play basketball, I got to stretch my hamstrings and calves over us. I'm done for two days. Yeah. Do you ever have your calf muscle lock up like when you're in bed, like at mm-hmm. sleep? <sighs> no, I had that happen once, but not recently. Oh, I've had my, I have my hip cramp up in a race car before. Oh. And that's no fun. What has been the worst like pain or like worst cramp you've ever had in 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 the car? Was that it? The hip cramp? The hip? Yeah. My uh, right my right hip. So that sucks a lot. How do you like? Uh, how do you how do you fix like how do you yeah. uncramp? You don't. You don't. <laughs> you just deal with it for a little bit until it goes away. Oh. If you're on like a mile and a half, okay, maybe in the straightaway you can kind of get up and and try to wiggle it a little bit, but you're still pressing the gas down. Yeah. So you're like, it's really weird, but yeah, I've had that happen once or twice and it's not fun. Uh, that, and then when I almost pissed myself at Texas a couple of years ago, that was one of the worst pains I've ever had. But he's, why is he two tenths faster? He was standing on the pedal. He was trying to fix a cramp. Yeah. 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 Get, get that cramp out. That, yeah. that feeling though, you, you talked about like that feeling of having to piss and you can't piss. Um, like that is one of the worst feelings in the world. I I was at uh, the University of Florida Western played uh, Florida one year. It was here. Chris Leak was there and yeah. Tim Tebow. Um, yeah, that was, it. that was when my sister was in college. Yeah, so like, we went down to tailgate. Mid two thousands. I thought like on the walk from where we tailgated, which was like maybe a mile away from the stadium, that there would be like a porta john or something in between there and the stadium. Nothing. And by the time I got in and had to go through the line and all that, like I was doubled over in pain and like the only <laughs> stall available was a handicap stall. And I walked in and it was like full to the brim of <laughs> not anything gross, airplane bottles. Ah. Oh, college game day. Mm-hmm. Wow. So Wait, I looked at it and was like, it's like, screw this. I'm peeing on the airplane bottles. Sorry to the guy that has to clean this up. <laughs> You know everyone else did it before you. So. Oh yeah, yeah. And the airplane bottle thing, in the it was in a bathroom. Yeah, it was in the handicap stall. So like it was a normal like stadium bathroom. You know, like everybody used to go in before uh, Corona and all that. Yeah. You know, you got the trough line. Those were all full, and there was a line a couple deep, but there was no line for the handicap like toilet stall. So I just made a beeline for that and went in, and there was Why a sink you in there. The now? airplane bottles away. Because they're college kids, and they went to the University of Florida, so they're not that bright anyway. Yeah, like, drink it. Lots of jorts. Get done with it. Put it in your, in the trash can. We, I don't understand that. I mean, at There's Western. they call that place the swamp. Yeah. You know, at Western, yeah. we used to just, like, drop them uh, in the trash can, or they would uh, somehow end up belie- below the bleachers. Just kind of dropped after you bought your. So littering. Uh-huh. Littering and littering and littering and it was Western Carolina. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Indeed. Interesting. Indeed. Speaking of college, mm-hmm. uh, apparently like the big 10 and the PAC 12 are close to playing again. Are they, are they getting close to it? Something I saw on sports center this morning. Like they're like trying to work a deal out. I mean, yeah, like, 90% of all of those schools revenue, I would think. So they got to figure yeah. something out. Yeah. But I was excited because obviously Ohio State's going to be I, I saw something uh, move to get the... Blah. 
Speak much? Uh, yeah, I don't speak much. Um, Big Ten football uh, coming back potentially, but they all will move together. So either they all play or they all won't play. Apparently. Oh. You think one of them is going to be like the odd man out and that everybody's going to hate because they're going to be like, eh, we don't really want to play. But then apparently um, Nebraska president was caught on a hot mic before a news conference say we're getting ready to announce the Huskers and Big Ten football tonight. So. Mm. there's Gotta two be pieces. wary of those hot mics. Mm-hmm. Hot mics, man. They'll get you every time. Hot mic. It was a big weekend, though, for uh, football. Football was back, college and professional. And it felt somewhat normal. I mean, Cam's back to wearing crazy pregame outfits, so yeah. And winning. Normal. And winning. Hey, he can win. Yeah, he can wear whatever he wants as long as he wins. How about him winning with the Patriots, but Tom Brady losing? Okay, well, the Patriots were playing Miami. I know. And Tampa was playing the Saints. So I think it's a little bit skewed. I yeah. Know. Yeah, I did think that was interesting. Panthers lost. Yeah. Panthers play the, play the Bucks next. Or they this do. Coming they today. do. Go down to uh, Tampa Bay to play uh, the Bucks. At, the Panthers did not look terrible. I think once we have a little bit of time with Coach Rule, things are going to be good. <laughs> I like Teddy Bridgewater. Teddy's probably not – like, he's going to play conservative. He's going to try not to throw the ball away. Still have Christian. Although, and that Christian, was, he should have given Christian the ball, not Armagh, but – He took the blame whatever. for it, though. He took the blame for it. Coach Rule came yeah. out and said, you know, hey – that's on me, you know, when you've got this stud of a running back, you know, you should give it to him. But at the same time, do you want to constantly, like, they know it's going to McCaffrey, so. Yeah, who knows what would have happened. Yeah. But it was a yeah. good weekend with, especially with college on Saturday. Like, Saturday was a great day for me because I got to be lazy in the morning and then go into the office and work the race. So it's like you get college football in the morning, a little bit of Premier League soccer in the morning too, and then, boom, NASCAR race at night. Like IndyCar, we had IndyCar this mm-hmm. past weekend too. All the better. Yeah. Sports, man. It made things. And fan- watching fantasy football st- scores come in yesterday and Sunday was just – like, it was that small glimmer of, oh, yeah, this is what it was like. I've never been able to do fantasy football. Can't get into it. Can't either. Generally, by the time, like, you need to make sure your roster's locked, you're kind of busy, though. Yeah. Like, you're, like, in the yeah. middle of the playoffs, beginning yeah. of the playoffs. Like, I don't watch – I love watching football, but I don't watch enough of it to, like, fully commit to fantasy. Yeah. So, I'm going to do fantasy. I want to do it right, but I don't right. feel like I can do it right, so – I mean, I think if you do it right, you got to go like go big or go home. Like these, like five and ten dollar buy-in leagues. Like, oh man, yeah. Gotta... Do you with your group? Do you play like the loser has to do something ridiculous? We have always threatened it. Like right now, so there's a group of us at work, and we've got two different trophies. We've got the um, it's, it's the Norm Benning Cup, I believe, which is basically a spring and a brake rotor from a, a car. And then on the top, it's the 57 red uh, truck, the Norm Benning, uh, the Storm and uh-huh. the Storm and Norman is our championship trophy. And we kind of work around the uh, champions around the, the coil of the spring. The, <laughs> the loser gets the, is, I think it's the Conway cup. Um, mm-hmm. And it's the, it's a little Kevin Conway uh, hero card. With his extends car, like a little mini uh, mm-hmm. mini nice. die cast on there, so you don't want the extends cup. I mean, I feel like I'd want it. I think that should have been the winner. <laughs> well, I mean, it's between Norm Benning and Kevin Conway, so like, who is really the winner in this? Everybody wins. Everybody wins. We all win. There was a <laughs> my buddies play in a like a golf thing, and uh, they always play the same group. So the loser. But the guy who shoots the worst the week before, they have this, uh, it's a penis putter. The, the putter face is a, is a male attachment. Uh, it works like a putter, but that person has to putt with that putter for the next round until he, if he's not the worst anymore. 
That's then you get a so you get a hand off the putter. Yeah, that's I'll, kind of fantastic. I'll I think take, it's hilarious. I'll take the penis mightier for two hundred. Yeah, like I don't want the dick putter this week. I better play good. <laughs> that I did have the grip on it like a like a dildo grip or something. That's got to be even better. That's amazing. That would be great. I, maybe I'll make one. I'll machine my own dick putter. <laughs> But that also, just, I play with it all the time. And just, just have it like, just have it like a, a ten foot long face, <laughs> like a hockey stick. You get it to where the actual shaft of the golf club is like the shaft of the penis, and somehow work it to where like the balls are the actual putting. Yeah, I, I feel like that would not be an okay. accurate putter, though. Like I feel like that's not gonna, like really, help with the. Uh, Get the ball, get the ball in the hole. I'll get some. <laughs> get a mock up going. Yeah. Take it, take it to the guys in the fab shop and see if they can really uh, put something together. I just, I just go to dad shop. He's like, "What are you, what, what are you making? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Damn, <laughs> making a trophy. Jeez, yeah. That 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 is a good. Uh, um, that's a good idea though. Like having you got to play with the dick dick putter. Yeah. Yeah. Phrasing. <laughs> putting, putting from the rough, if you will. Um, oh, man. Yeah, I think the worst we've done so Hold far is just one. make somebody. Oh. <laughs> we made somebody ride the mechanical bull at Dixie's. Not Dixie's. Why did I say Dixie's? Whiskey. Um, whiskey, yeah. That, that's been it. That's been the worst that we've done. I've I've wanted to do like more like up the game, but nobody you can ever not. agree on like what the punishment is because the guy who loses never wants to do X, Y, or Z. Yeah, should make him ride the mechanical bull in like a leotard or something. <laughs> yeah, Be even better. Yeah, we did cut like a video of it to like some Celine Dion or something like that. So it was it was it was meh. It was meh. Nah. Um, I see some funny ones online. Speaking of of meh, Kim, you sent a uh, an article this morning would, about the uh, Taco Bell wine. Oh uh, yes. Is that like toilet wine that uh, they're selling serving at Taco Bell, or it's legitimate wine? Like, do they make I it? Or? Feel like they could have done better with the name. The Jalapeno Noir. Yeah, doesn't do it for me. No, it doesn't. Like, well, what would you name a Taco Bell wine? Like, how would you name a Taco Bell wine? I don't know. I was talking about this with Derek this morning at the news station. He said Baja Blast Bordeaux. And then you would automatically know it's Taco Bell. I don't feel like Jalapeno Noir yeah. really just doesn't speak Taco Bell to me. Lots yeah. of places have jalapenos. Not a lot of places have Baja Blast. No, they don't. True. It'd be it'd be distinct. It could be like Taco Bell's Pinot Diarrio or something like that. <laughs> it'd be hilarious. Or you could you do I'm like a like diarrhea? Did you get it from Pinot Grigio? Pinot Diarrhea? Yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> Terrible. Never mind. Shut down. That's okay. <laughs> Think of another one. Uh, Chalupa Chardonnay. I don't know. That's the like. That's like it doesn't really ring like the Chalupa. Chalupa bat. Maybe something. Maybe you could do a Chianti and figure out how to do it with Chianti quesadilla. No. Something like that. You want to do know, like a I gordita? Do, like you need like a gordita. I, you just could have been better with the name. Yeah, definitely. But I mean, all right. I know it's like for their uh, their higher end. What is it? The the cantina or whatever their cantina concept yeah, or whatever. I don't ever drink wine with Mexican. Well, that's I'm what I was going to say. That's not a good tequila point. or mezcal or yeah. or or beer. You know, like a good amber. Or or, uh, good, like, yeah, like, like, a, like a, a nice Modelo. Modelo. Yeah. Well, they they do soul. apparently have their own. They have a Beach Bell Lager, which is a Mexican Mexican style amber lager. So they've got mm-hmm. that. Yeah. They should have had like. Oh, could you imagine how good a Baja Blast margarita would be? Ooh. Miss Market. Yeah. Maybe they'll call Mr. Bell. Mr. Taco Bell. Excuse me, Mr. Taco Bell. Excuse me, Miss Taco Bell. 
I have an idea that'll make you millions. Part of his division of Yum Brands. Yeah. I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna get a Baja Blast from Taco Bell and then put it with some margarita mix and some tequila. Got tequila in it. Yeah. Not bad. Not a bad idea. So my next question about this Taco Bell wine, though, it, it's got to be boxed wine, right? Like you, you couldn't serve. Uh, like you'd have to just have like a box of wine, like a. But a t- did you ever Ryan's comment about Baja last margaritas? Did you ever when you were going to the beach, like in college or maybe other times, um, get Slurpees and put alcohol in the Slurpees and take them to the beach, or is that just a Florida thing? That's definitely a Florida thing. <laughs> like a like a icy. Yeah, like, like from a gas a, station. A Seven Eleven Slurpee. You get a Slurpee yeah. and then you put usually vodka in it and Never you take it to that. the beach. No, all right. Never must done that. A, must have been a Florida thing. Sorry, there, there, there's a. Uh, you, you, you might be able to um, get the Baja Blast frozen margarita. It may actually be a thing. It's a Washington Post article, and I can't actually click on it because it's behind a paywall. But just reading the blurb is it's 2019, and now Taco Bell will serve you a frozen margarita. The headliner is the Mountain Dew Baja Blast Twisted Freeze with Tito's Vodka, Bacardi Rum, and Jose Cuervo. It's not just like a tequila margarita. It's, it's got all the rums. and. The... Where are the – isn't there a Taco Bell, like, nice can, Taco Bell cantina somewhere? Where is that location? Las Vegas? Mm, I think that's it. Maybe that's <laughs> where they serve it. It's the Crunch Wrap Supreme of Taco Bells. Mm. Um, I did have Taco Bell after Richmond. A lot of it. Did you? Yeah. I said you come straight home. I, I assume you came straight home, right? Yeah, I got it on the way to the airport. Yeah. So get that Taco's Bell and... It's the, cure. No. it's the cure for what ails you, so they say. Yeah. But I don't need my What's, your order, about what's your order at Taco Bell? I get two Dorito Loco tacos and a shredded chicken burrito. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I love the Dorito Loco tacos. I thought they got rid of the shredded chicken. Mm-hmm. Wasn't that Absolutely. one of like five new items they were getting rid of eventually, though? Maybe eventually, but it's it was there two days ago. They are getting rid of the so, Mexican pizza, I believe. I think I think they're getting rid of shredded chicken. Well, what? That would ruin really, your order, Ryan. That would really upset me. I'd have to figure something else out. Um, shredded chicken. Taco L and menu. I know. What do you get when we go to Taco Bell, Chuck? Me? Uh, see, I haven't really been to Taco Bell in a minute, but I used to get the uh, cheesy potato burrito back in the day um, when I was a lot larger. Um, that was my go-to, a couple of those. Um, and then just some, I like the, the cheese roll-up things. I like those. I'm a fan mm. of those. They're good. Just all the cheese and, and all the meats and potatoes, all the good stuff for you. I can't That's right. That's Hello. right. I, yeah, I don't do Taco Bell often, but when I do, <laughs> that's my go-to. When I do, yeah. I go all out. I was trying to see if... We're moving. Yeah, Taco Bell is also swapping out its Pico de Gallo in favor of fresh diced tomatoes. Really not that big of a difference outside of some cilantro and onions. And we're moving its shredded chicken protein option. Which means the departure of the shredded chicken soft taco, shredded chicken burrito, and shredded chicken quesadilla melt. Get it while you can, Ryan. That pisses me off. When are they doing that? This was an article from September 3rd. Oh. And it doesn't say, oh, the menu changes will go into effect on November 5th. Okay, I got some time. So if you really want to win the election, because the election election day is two days before, you come out and you say, yeah. not eliminating any Taco Bell items if you make me president. None of us are old enough to run, are we? Wait. To run? Yeah, 35. Yeah, we are. I didn't think I was as old as I was. Kim, we're running on the Taco Bell ticket. Can you imagine, though, like a 34? 30- 
five-year-old president only because all of the presidents have usually been old guys. I mean, it'd be different. It would. What, who's the who's been the youngest president to be sworn into office? Um, was it JFK or Bill Clinton? I thought it was JFK. Bill was pretty young when he started. He was maybe late thirties. Um, youngest president to uh, take. Ooh, well, nope. 10 youngest presidents. I should know this off the top of my head. Ooh. Teddy Roosevelt ah. at 42. JFK, 43. And Bill Clinton was 46. We were close. Yeah. I don't know that I could take... They should just move it up to 40. I don't know that I could take a 35-year-old president seriously. Well, I don't think anyone will. That's why one hasn't been elected That's why it hasn't happened. <laughs> yeah. But has anyone so tried... Why not just bump it up to 40? But has anyone tried yeah. at 35 to run? How old was Pete Buttigieg? Pete Buttigieg was... He was 30s. No, he did 82, so he's 38. See? Okay. He's a year older than me. Running for... See, but, you know, I mean... So if somebody's tried and they didn't get that far, but, you know, that doesn't mean uh, that you got to stop trying. Just keep, uh, keep on keeping on. Keep on reaching for the stars. And one day, you two can become president of the United States at 35. Maybe that should be Ryan's goal. He's got, what, 10 years? I'm president? Eight years? Uh, Eight years? I probably almost want to do anything other than that. <laughs> that is like one job. I remember in like middle school, somebody's like, man, you could be president one day. I was like, no. I don't want to be. I, do not, I have no desire. Everyone That's a hard hates you. No, hard enough for me, too. Like people are always trying to kill you. Nothing you say is ever going to be make everyone happy. You get to know all the secrets. That's the only. But we don't even know if you do. Because if I've learned anything from science fiction, they always withhold some of the stuff from the president for plausible deniability. Mm. If I know anything from watching National Treasure Two, I would believe there's yes. a book that all the presidents get. <laughs> like the uh, Champions book in. Yeah. Yeah. In NASCAR. NASCAR. Yeah. Yeah. You think they uh, sign it like a yearbook? Probably. The president's. I would hope so. Like an outgoing message. Keep in touch. <laughs> KIT with a phone number. <laughs> yeah. In case you need this. <laughs> uh, so Treasure was on the other night, and I forgot how good a movie that is. And the second one is just as good. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's one where the sequel was. Yeah, prime yeah. Nick Cage. Kidnaps the president. The, oh, he stole the Declaration of Independence? I'll mm-hmm. do you one better. I'll kidnap the president. <laughs> Love it. Well, wasn't, was it Sean Bean that was in the first one? Or was that the second one? I don't know who Sean Bean is. The the no. with the British guy. Well, uh, so have you seen Game of Thrones? No. Oh, the bad guy. Well, the guy from the beginning of Game of Thrones that his head was cut off. Ned. Ned Stark from the beginning. You know, that whole meme of uh, Winter's Coming? Brace yourselves. I still haven't watched Game of Thrones. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. But yeah, Sean Bean, great actor. He was in uh, Sharp's Rifles and all the Sharp movies. Picture him. Sean? You would know him. He's like a a bad guy character actor. I think he was the bad guy in the first one. Yeah. He looks like a bad guy. He kind of looks like Russell Crowe. But the thing is, he's not... A little. He's not... Well, he was the bad guy in Goldeneye, too. Not GoldenEye mm. 2, GoldenEye as well. Patriot Games, GoldenEye, he was the bad guy. Um, National Treasure, he was the bad guy. But Jesus, the- how many times has he been married? Probably a lot. <laughs> I mean, you know. One, two, three, four. He's on his fifth wife. Let's go. I mean, that's... He's just that's- trying them all out. Just sampling. <laughs> He's just leasing. Like leasing cars. Turn it in for a uh, for a younger model. Uh, uh, Aurora just said he always dies in his movies. Sean Bean does. Oh, does he? Yeah, yeah. I don't think he died in National Treasure. Didn't he? I think he was just he was just arrested. I thought they killed somebody in National Treasure. No, maybe not. Maybe it was a PG movie and they they they, they didn't. Uh, yeah, I don't think he he gets killed. Anyway. There's there's actually an article from the Sun in UK in the UK that says Sean Bean is so tired of screen deaths that he's rejecting roles where he gets killed. Oh, bless. <laughs> well, that's what happens when you always play the bad guy. You're gonna get killed. Yeah. 
Yeah, he, what in what movie does the bad guy live and have a happily ever after? There's a picture of him with a, a sign that says hashtag don't kill me. <laughs> twenty one times. He's been killed twenty one times in movies. Wow. So. Pretty impressive to be in twenty one movies in general. I know. Yeah, that is impressive. <laughs> He killed in definitely over half of his movies. That he was suck. he was in Lord of the Rings. Killed in Lord of the yeah. Rings. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he was a good guy in Lord of the Rings. Yeah, I was just about to say that's the one movie where he's yeah. not a bad guy. Oh, there's a whole like list of all of his uh, shot with arrows, shot in the head, stabbed uh, while he was oh, sleeping. Good lord! Flung from a satellite dish. Uh, shot with pistol from a wait, distance. Wait, 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 wait. Where, what movie is he flung from a satellite dish? Goldeneye. At the end of Goldeneye, when they're on top of, they're fighting on the satellite dish in like Brazil, maybe? Oh. It's in South America? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Patriot he Games. Had be, he had to be pretty young in Goldeneye, wasn't he? It's 95, and he's he what? Was, yeah, 25 years ago. Yeah. So he was younger. I don't think he was yeah. young, young back then. Yeah. But. Um, he's also been forced off of a cliff by stampeding cattle. Um, yeah, there's a lot of different, uh, well, shit torn apart by horses and beheaded on the orders of King Joffrey. That son of a bitch, King Joffrey. That's yeah, good. I never that's, watched Game of Thrones, so I don't Game know. Thrones, yeah. I didn't either. Sorry. Oh, no. I, I, well, I watched the last season, actually. Yeah. Uh, but it, nothing ever made sense to me. But I was entertained. <laughs> I mean, the, the, that's the way TV and movies should be. Those like you shouldn't have to have the backstory to still be entertained. Yeah, yeah. I never saw one Game of Thrones episode before the last season, and I was like, "What's happening? It's crazy. <laughs> These people must know each other. Who's bad? Who's good? I yeah. don't know, but it's fun." I could tell you that Khaleesi blonde hair chick was crazy from the get go. Yeah. So. Yeah, like like in the first. Honestly, when you look back at it and watching, having seen the whole thing, and you 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 look at the first season, her and her brother had a bit of the crazy in them. I mean, they were the Mad King's uh, lineage, so yeah, they've got that in their blood. So you knew it was probably going to rear its uh, rear its ugly head at some point. Yeah. Wasn't there something going on? Wasn't that chick and so wasn't she the aunt of that snow guy? And they were like sleeping together. Yeah. Yeah, 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 but you know, but see, here's the thing. Okay, before you turn your nose up at that, um, <laughs> not that I'm justifying this by any means. I mean, I'm going to justify it. But when it comes to like royal bloodlines, oh, like, they gotta keep it in the family. Yeah, royal families are always incestuous. Like you're always marrying yeah. a cousin. Yeah. So I mean, it's not out of the realm of. Yeah. Plausible. I thought I remember I read like King Tut was like I think it was King Tut was a massively inbred family and like could walk <laughs> like he was just really screwed up huge overbite so messed up like the hills have eyes type <laughs> shit like <laughs> the worst and we're yeah. entrusting these people to run our countries yeah yeah yikes so, uh, did yeah. you did you see though I, I said it earlier uh there were 13 mummies that were found in coffins that uh dated from uh 500 BCE in Egypt, I saw that that are like very well preserved, like extremely well preserved to be that old. So don't open those. I thought they did open them. Did they open them? I saw, last well, I saw they, they they hadn't yet. If they were that if they were that well preserved, how did they not open them? I mean, the article I said is they hadn't said anything. If they oh nope, there we go. Untouched mummies discovered in Egypt. I still don't see if they've actually opened the sarcophagus. I think the sarcophagus, the sarcophagi, the plural of sarcophagus, sure. uh, were well preserved and had all the paint oh. and all the paint and all that stuff on them. And then there was other stuff that was in there. I don't know if they actually okay. pried open the actual, because they said it was basically a graveyard yeah. or an, a necropolis is what they called it. Hmm. Go back and watch the mummy. Don't open sarcophagus. Yeah, uh, and especially this year. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, those things are coming back to life. And then we've got giant faces in sandstorms 
swallowing up entire towns. And we got to yeah. deal with Brennan Fraser. Hey, he was a great actor back then. I loved him in the movie movies. Who's good in that? And in Sino Man? Yeah. Got to fall off the map. <laughs> uh, but, you know. He was on Trackside Live last year, I believe. He was at a NASCAR no, I race. I remember. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah, he's... Why? <laughs> it was a, he was I, in like full was he in Texas? I think it was Texas. He was in full cowboy outfit get up like Yeah, like was like, it like he looked like a like a ranger, like a super really big Texas? cowboy hat. No, but he was playing a he was acting in this show where he was like this person and he just came as that guy. Like he I don't know, maybe oh. that's how he dresses normally, but He's from Indy. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. But that was a... Uh, well, like, on. I interviewed Dennis Quaid a handful of years ago. They told us to talk about a weird guy. Encino Man. So, wait, how was the interview with Dennis Quaid? Like, that that's one that... It was very strange. Because, like, I know like, Randy Quaid is, is really out there. Isn't Randy Quaid dead? No, he's living in Canada, hiding out from the law, I believe. I yeah, he's he looks like a... He looks like he could be on like the Alaskan Bush Hog show. Yeah, no, he. I don't know that Quaid's was dead. Randy Quaid's still alive. Randy um, Quaid's still alive. He's like growing marijuana up in. Uh, Quaid Brothers. Canada. What's the other one? Dennis. Dennis. He's still I kicking. War. One of the Quaids had died. I could be wrong. Dennis Quaid was he was in the Parent Trap, wasn't he? That was yeah. him. Yeah. So I interviewed him. And he was just very strange, just very, would like laugh at nothing and like look at you for a long time and smile and not say anything. And he rescued a dog on the way to the racetrack and like it was in his car. Yeah. Look at this gem of a photo of them though. They look like they're fresh out of the movie Step Brothers. (laughs) Okay. No, no. Dennis, Dennis Quaid does have the crazy eye thing going on there. Like if you look at it. It was so weird. It was so crazy. I don't know. I can't remember what I asked. It was when we were doing this 21 it, question thing. Isn't Dennis Quaid in Twister? No. No, he's not in Twister. That's uh, Bill Paxton. No. What's that uh, What's that guy? <laughs> it's just, it's like Paxton. you're thinking of Bill Paxton and then uh, Bill Pullman. Like those two actors Bill often. Paxton. And is it, did Bill Pullman. Did Bill Pullman die? One of those actors that's yeah. like borderline, like probably like a B plus actor. That I would lump all together. One of them died in the last couple of years. I think of it. I believe it was Bill Paxton. No, yes, 2017, he passed away. There you go. That's who I'm thinking yes. of. Bill Paxton. <laughs> Crazy actor. This guy's an A-list actor. Still is to this day. That was a great, a great movie that was on the other day that I recorded because I loved it so much. It was Face Off. Nick Cage <laughs> and Face Off. <laughs> I mean, oh my God! We literally just played six degrees of not Kevin Bacon, but six degrees of of Nick Cage. <laughs> like we, actually, we started at National Treasure and got to face off. The other day. <laughs> Dude, what was I reading so, about him? That movie was great. That movie was great. <laughs> Might be the best. I hope they remake Face Off with Nick Cage and so good. Uh, uh, who's the other guy in it? Um, John Travolta. Travolta. Like, like right now, like just redo it <laughs> shot by shot, but have them this old, this age. It'd be great. I mean, did didn't we read that they are do they they were going to do a Face Off remake? I don't. I won't. I wouldn't doubt it. They've done reboots of everything. I would love it. I would absolutely love such it. A, it legitimately is such a good movie because they have to like take each. I know we've talked about it. Take each other's mannerisms on, and they do. They. I just great movie yeah no they are they are um they are looking at paramount pictures is is giving a facelift to face off um who are they getting to play the main roles because that's what i want to know i don't think if i don't think they've gotten to that yet oren utzel uzel has been set to write the script neil mortitz moritz will produce and david permut will or permut I don't know how you're saying these names. They look kind of uh, German-ish. Uh, it's going to be the executive producer. Um, no real word on who. Uh, Utzel's credits 
range from 22 Jump Street to the Cloverfield Paradox and Sonic the Hedgehog. So, okay. like all reboots slash sequels. Yeah, it's like sequel guy. Okay, he's a sequel yeah. guy. Did you guys ever see? Did you guys see Sonic, the new Sonic movie? No, I didn't. Was it good? No, I saw it by myself in a theater in Los Angeles, and it was great. Jim Carrey made the movie. Like that was really the best part of the movie was Jim Carrey was a bad guy. Doing another one. Sonic, I hope so. Yeah, I think that I think it's already signed on to do a second Sonic. That's good. I liked it. That one's gonna be Sonic America's Drive In. Mm-hmm. Psych. <laughs> Only playing at drive in movies. No? No? No, that felt hard. That fell flat. Sorry. It's a paycheck. They can't all be Sorry. winners. I can't remember the last time I've eaten at a Sonic. Maybe never. College. Yeah, I was in not even high school. I was before that, like elementary yeah, school. Yeah, maybe like a little kid. We had one across the street from the Ryan Steakhouse in uh, in in, in Silva, North Carolina. So you'd either <laughs> you, you'd leave the Walmart and you'd either go to the Ryan's or you'd go up the hill to the Sonic and get you some burgers and fries. Didn't they partner with NASCAR on something a while ago? Maybe. I mean, sponsor a race or something. I don't know. You see enough Sonic commercials, though. Yeah. I think they're doing their really well. have, yeah, their commercials have kind of gone downhill. Remember, they were so funny for a while, the two guys in the car. Yeah, they had those two guys, and now they just have like random different people. I don't know. I liked them when it was just those two guys, but now they have. Yeah. I can't keep up. One of those guys was from North Carolina, I think. Hmm. Yeah. I just remember that when the whole thing came out, and there's like, oh, yeah, this guy's got a North Carolina connection. You should really like him, North Carolina. But I, I think that's also yeah. part of the Facebook algorithm. That's telling you to like things and do things and have, oh, you, do this. have you watched have you watched the social dilemma on Netflix yet? No, it's on my list. I just found out about it. If you wanna keep using any social media, don't watch it. If you wanna, I mean, that's not how I felt when I watched The Great Hack. I was yeah. like, I'm getting rid of my Facebook now, yeah. which I hate Facebook anyway. I don't ever get on it, but So it's basically about how all of the tech companies utilize this stuff to play into dopamine drops and addiction. And they're using psychology to basically control your uh, buying actions, like how you purchase things. Like that's Mm -hmm. like, we are their commodity. Like as the user, we're not, I think that one of the quotes was uh, drug dealers. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. (laughs) <laughs> She's going to pull the actual quote, but it's about drug dealers. And uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But right. drug dealers and social media are the only time the consumers are known as users. Yeah. So. That's exactly what that book's about. Yeah. Um, what was I going to say? But well, it's it, just it, like casinos, you know. Yeah. Well, that's. You go play slots. It's the the addiction and the lights. They program all that stuff. The colors. The and, uh, yeah. That's exactly. That's exactly what they said in the thing. The refresh on the phone yeah. is they programmed that and modeled that after a slot machine pulling the arms. Like, are you going to get something this time? Is something yeah. going to happen this time? That's so it's the same. Exactly. They, that must be based on that book I'm reading. Yeah, it probably is. Um, if you ever want to, if you ever want to break from your phone, put it in grayscale. It's so unappetite. Like it's not, like it's not fun to use. Because, like, the notification red bubbles don't pop up yeah. red. So, like, put your phone in grayscale. Try it for, like, an hour, and you're like, I don't, this is, I don't like this. Trouble is, I got a new phone. Grayscale. Grayscale. They gave us yeah. new phones, so now I'm playing with the whole, like, everything on the phone, so. Yeah. <sighs> but, I mean, I did buy well, this. I, mean, I bought this because of ads on Facebook. Oh, I've bought stuff on from Instagram. I see yeah. Ryan pop up on my Facebook all the time for fl- flag and anthem. Yep. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, all the time. Which, by the way, are you wearing a flag and anthem out- outfit right now? Is that I'm wearing the- a flag and anthem flannel? I got my flag and anthem jeans on. Yeah, I am. We're talking about it, so we'll probably pop up now. Right. Yeah. Are these are no, these clothes? Not. Is this? Cl- I'm gonna just like lean into the whole. Uh, the whole Facebook ad thing. Are they comfortable uh, clothes? Like, I mean, is that something that uh, should look into? No, yeah, I mean that's uh, they make everything. I mean, t-shirts, flannels, jackets, jeans, um, shorts. They make make everything. Swimwear. Uh, yeah, they're a really good company out of New York, and uh, I've known them for a couple of years. And we just now, you know, 
got partner with them and they're making our foundation shirts right now. I put a video out about that last week um, with that little fun development program that we're doing uh, with UPMC. So yeah, they're helping out a lot. They've uh, been really cool to work with. Um, they got Christian McCaffrey. I saw that also as one of their athletes. Yeah. So that's really cool. And um, yeah, they're a good company. They're, they're kind of small now, but they're growing a lot in the next last couple of years. So I like their stuff. I mean, a lot, yeah. I mean, hey, when, whenever we finally do that show over at uh, Bank of America Stadium that uh, Miguel oh, uh, right. said, uh, you know, at some point we could do. And I don't know if he's listening now. He might be. I think, like, now would probably be yeah. a good time. We could go do. Just have the whole stadium by ourselves. Yeah. It's not like yeah. the stadium is being used for a ton, ton well, of stuff right now. It will be used coming up in October for uh, early voting sites in Mecklenburg County. There and Spectrum oh, Center will both be used as that. So... Um, gotcha. but you know, we could, we could do uh one there and then, uh, do one on the porch back here. Once they bury the, the line, finally, at some mm-hmm. point, it'll be two weeks yeah. from now because of the rain. Um, yeah. but yeah, yeah. we could do it at my new place when I move in. When, yeah. when, when you moving? I move in next Friday. Oh, nice. soon. so give me a, give me a few weeks to kind of get everything sorted and we can have a show there. So. Because I think I've yeah, got it. Be. So what's that? Huh? What were you saying? Huh? Huh? Yeah. So you what? said, huh? Yeah. I said I'm excited. That's oh, oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. Very excited, very excited. There will be an option for internet, which is great. Ooh. Uh, Spectrum runs out there, so all I got to do is go with Spectrum and have them run a line, and we'll be set to go. Boom. Set you up a nice little studio in there. So exciting. Yeah. For all of your Zoom interviews that you do, and all, all of your... my Zoom interviews. <laughs> how how was Media Day? We I'm had to be honest with you. I liked Media Day via Zoom better than actual Media Day in Charlotte Convention yeah. Center. Yeah, they turned an eight-hour day into four hours. And yeah, they didn't have to take pictures. So I, you have my vote, NASCAR, and all the news outlets to do a virtual Media Day next year. Here's what I'm going to have to ask you to do, though, is I'm going to have to ask all of the drivers to get good at using cameras so we can improve the picture quality. Uh, can we do yeah. a training? Like, we can do training in the off season. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not going to happen. I'm totally not going to do that. It's like, this is all going to be on the phone, and that's what you get. You get that, and you like it. I was on a laptop. Like yeah, no, I yeah. I was on a laptop. I was at Penske. Yeah. Even, yeah. like, a GoPro. Just a GoPro off to the side to give it. Like I'm just I'm sick of looking at yeah. the same angle yeah. for all of the stuff that we're doing. So yeah. it uh, is what it for is. For media day next year, I'll I'll do this angle. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be my angle. Yeah, Perfect. and hey, make guys. sure the camera's tilted too. So like it's just com- yeah. There you go. I think yeah. that's perfect. That'd be a great angle. What's going on? It's like Daytona yeah. 500 media day. So, what are your thoughts on the 500 this year? It's good. It's good. Just get like right in there. Good. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah. Uh, really good. Uh. Yeah. Can you back up? Actually, we can't see your whole face. No. 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 This is, this is as far as the camera will go. It's one of these new cameras. Yeah. It's apparently the new thing that Apple announced. Which apparently they announced something today at uh, 10. Easy. Yeah. Or, they said they weren't doing, they weren't announcing phone stuff. It was just like iPads, Apple Watch iterations, oh. and oh. Um, possibly ear, AirPods over the ear AirPods. Hmm. Interesting. So basically head, headphones. Well, good for them. They've got me with all of my Apple products and such. Well, yeah. yeah. Apple make a new products. make a new plug in and have to go buy new chargers and ah. new dongles, accessories and extensions. And, so annoying. Yeah, they got you though. It's that addiction thing. They want you to have. I it. didn't. I didn't get a new phone. I had the same phone for like five years until I Thank broke you. it. Yeah. And, and I was this I was year. Pissed. I got a new one. Yeah. We, so I hope I can have this one for another five, and then I can get a new one. So who knows? But five years from now, this is going to be crazy shit. They might just implant the phone into. Yeah. Brain. Yeah. Jeez. I don't even need a phone. Do that, and then it's like on your palm. If you saw that movie, Total, Total Recall. Oh yeah, yeah, where you got the. Uh, it's it's in his hand. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Like, if they implanted it into your brain, how could you differentiate like the voices on the phone call versus like the voices that are just naturally in your head? 
That's some Black Mirror shit. I was just about to say Black Mirror stuff right there. And yeah. then you record everything out of your eyeballs. Okay. Yeah. You can play it back. And yeah. then how do you know if you're actually alive at that point? What happened to the, was it Google uh, the, Glass? The Google Glass. What happened to those? I, I wore them one time. <laughs> Did and you, now they're gone. Did you yeah. wear them? Was it, was it a NASCAR we social thing? It was a NASCAR social thing, and I wore them around. <laughs> so, fun story about that. Back, uh, I don't think I was supposed to do something, and I got mad or something. So, yeah, like it was at GoPro Motorplex, and we are using Google Glass at the GoPro Motorplex to record a uh, video of driving around. It was a NASCAR Next Media Day type thing where they paired yeah. drivers up with media members, and I think – you and Chase might have used the Google Glass for some laps, and then so. GoPro got mad, or the GoPro Motorplex got mad that we had used Google. Gla- it was a whole thing. Instead of what yeah. GoPros? Because they're competing. <laughs> yeah. 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 Go- I mean, they're kind of competing, but kind of not. Yeah. I haven't seen a Google Glass around since then, so yeah. I have no idea. I remember I wore them a few times, and it was really, it was weird. Like you were looking at this little little cube. I think they had one of the Miss Spring Cups wear it during pre-race. Yeah. When they're like shaking hands with all the drivers. There was like one three-month, four-month period, I think, back in like 2013 or 14 that we like, we got a, we got some of that through a Google partnership and we're using it and yeah, it was definitely, but it died, I think. It's gone away. Because it was too dorky looking, like you you yeah, looked like a tool. Some a little bit more stylish. Yeah. yeah. Is anything dorky looking these days though? Google you Glass. Can away, you can get away with a lot of stuff. Google Glass was pretty dorky looking. It was bad. I didn't. They like, were. You weren't like. Fruit? It wasn't even glasses. It was just like it was just like frames. A monocle. And then like a little tiny monocle. Yeah, like you looked like. Vegeta in Dragon Ball Z, like one of the first episodes when he meets Goku. I don't know if you guys ever watched Dragon Ball Z, but that's what I'd look like. I'll take your no? word for okay. it. I think yeah. Strickert knows what that is because he looked... Nope, never mind. He was nope. laughing. Okay. Okay. Nope, okay. Nope, nope. Hey, no I, Dragon look, Ball Z fans over here. That Dragon Ball Z is just a little bit... Like, we're a little older yeah. uh, than mm. that. <laughs> you did get a... Um, you know, I mean, you know... It, it, Whatever. It's you your, your generation. Whatever. You know, I bought, I bought, I have all the seasons on DVD, so it's fine. When you run for president in five years, you can make it required viewing for the whole United States. Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. DBZ. Yeah. <laughs> Read to. my lips, fellow Americans. You will all watch Dragon Ball Z. It's my Ryan and Blaney impression. So Bristol's coming up. Bristol. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. Bristol's coming up. Uh, cut off race and we have to do good things or else we're going to be cut off so hopefully we can do that you're good at Bristol though so yeah we run good I don't think it's a must win for us um in the spot we're in I think if we can run top three in the stages and try to run top five in the race maybe we'll get enough points to have a shot it obviously depends on everyone else is but uh I don't think it's not a must win but it's it's uh you know close to it but, must must do well yeah must do well yeah, so we'll see. We will see. We Give will see. I will, while we're waiting to see, I'll go ahead and hit the music and, and, and play us out. Hit it. And we can discuss whatever, we, whatever uh, we want to discuss to end things with. So, finishing thoughts, you guys have to watch Dragon Ball Z, at least like a couple episodes. Okay. Because it's an amazing show. It was uh, made in Japan. Made its way to the United States. There's a lot to learn about it. Okay. Let's learn. Learn a lot about yourself. Okay. I did. Uh, you remember that homework y'all gave me about watching uh, you like back? Uh, oh yeah. Yeah. I watched one episode of it, and it kind of freaked me out a little bit. And uh, one episode's yeah. not enough. I know. I know. Got to watch a lot more episodes. I know. I need to go back and watch it. I just don't really want to watch something like that uh, by myself. By <laughs> I don't know. It's just it's weird. It's just, yeah. It's a little weird. It gets crazy. Yeah. Like you got to yeah. watch it. There's all this stuff that it just gets wild and pretty nuts. But hey. I can't wait for season three. 
I need to start watching it so I can get ready for season three. I will be ready for it by the time season three rolls around. How about that? And Dragon Ball Z, I will get my nephew to watch an episode and come back to me with uh, what it's about. (laughs) All right. That's fair enough. Get the new generation in in on it, you know? Sure. Make new fans. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Rate and review on iTunes. Subscribe and like on YouTube. Thank you all for watching and listening. Yes. And tune in this weekend. Saturday night, Bristol. Night race. race. I won't say what Dale Jr. said about Bristol. What did Dale Jr. say about Bristol? It's Bristol, baby. (laughs) I I remember. I remember. One media day or something before Bristol, they were all making us say that. Yeah. And it was very strange. Do you remember when Talladega tried to get the this is Talladega kind of thing? It's still written on the walls. Oh, yeah. Whatever. But, so. All right. Thank you, everybody, for watching, listening, doing the deal. And he's hopping off and driving off, hopping off and driving off. Anyway. Yep. Hopping in and driving hopping back in and down driving to my out. house. Bye-bye.